So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use uh, MiniBN, which is a smaller version of uh, RaspBN, the uh, Debian distribution made for a Raspberry Pi. Uh, so we're going to download this here uh, on uh, the minibnpi.wordpress.com. To wipe out uh, all the contents on my SD card using disk util program and uh, list argument to find that my uh, SD card has identified your disk too. Yours can be different so please use this comment here to make sure that you got the right identifier. Next use the disk util again. This time with erase disk followed by free for free space and then no name or whichever name you want to give the uh, the SD card once it's uh, all deleted and then you follow by slash dev slash and whatever your identifier is in my case it's a uh, disk 2 so uh, I'll, I'll put a sudo in the front of all that to make sure that we don't have any permission issues so it's now uh, deleting the disk uh, and uh, substituting its content with uh, some free space. The next step is to copy all the contents of the image that we just extracted onto our SD card. To do this, uh, type in sudo dd bs equal 1 m then the if for input file e wherever location uh, is uh, your uh, image file so 2015.img not tr not tar img we want the on the uh, extracted image and our output file is slash dev slash uh, disk 2 when this is done, we should uh, have a confirmation that bytes were transferred with the time that it took to transfer these bytes. We are now ready with the micro SD card inserted in the Raspberry Pi to boot for the first time. Uh, I'm using an Ethernet cable with uh, internet connection sharing under uh, Mac OS uh, to enable internet uh, and to give the Raspberry Pi access to my uh, local area network. So to go ahead and boot up, just simply connect the USB cord that's connected to the Raspberry Pi. <clears throat> it's now booting for the first time from the Minibian image. Now, next, uh, I'm not going to use this uh, screen for the rest of the videos. What I, I'm want, I want to show you is this IP address is uh, the address of my Raspberry Pi on my LAN, which I'm going to use in the next step to connect to the Raspberry Pi over SSH from my computer. Write down this IP address. We can now start using the Raspberry Pi from a bash a terminal window. To do this, type in ssh, then root, which is the default user for MiniVM distribution, and the IP address we wrote down uh, in the last step, 192.168.2.1. Note that this may differ uh, in your uh, setup it's not necessarily the same IP address. Press enter and the default password is uh, raspberry. This is, uh, so right now we are in, um, we are accessing the uh, MiniBN which is installed uh, uh, on, on our Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching.